So guys, I uh, have arrived at my campsite at a place called Lidbury North in Shropshire and the Powys Arms is a campsite as well. So I've managed to find a campsite on a pub and the weather is a beautiful evening. I've had two days of, I've had 48 hours of high winds and the sun has come out I'll go book in get the pitch and then I'm having a pint right guys so I've got pitched everything's ready I just need to get changed and go to the pub in that direction, which is 100 yards. It's all part of a big estate and a big house. Uh, where I'm pitched is uh, the second of two fields. Well, the first one is the campsite. It's a very small campsite. I'll show you through it when I go to the pub. Uh, very small, very nice. This is an overflow um, campsite for when it gets busy and it's basically just a sectioned off uh, bit of field you can see the uh, the blue fence line and uh, whilst it's just a field uh, it's adequate it's absolutely f more than adequate it's fine uh, the grass is quite good it's flat and uh, I've got pitched because we have the Sun after two days we have proper sun so I've got pitch there should be able to see the sun go down after I've had a pint unfortunately it's a Sunday night and the pub doesn't serve food at night it just serves beer so I've had to buy a bit of a manky sandwich and a chocolate bar which I'll consume after a couple of pints I don't really want to cook tonight I cooked last night and the night before so tonight just take it easy I'll uh, let you know all about it when I've seen I haven't even seen the toilet and shower block yet I've just come directly to this overflow field uh, but we'll have a look the, for the overflow field they have got some uh, portaloos just somewhere in that direction there um, and uh, uh, just a quick uh, use of them uh, very clean and again for an overflow campsite it's fine you can still go use the toilet block and the shower and the, uh, the showers and toilets it's just that they've put some uh, porter cabins in this overflow field now the overflow field once I get to the gate is literally next door to the main campsite so um, it's just like being at the end of a big campsite to walk back to the toilet block uh, probably 150 yards something like that so nothing beautiful location and you're in uh, Shropshire here not far from Bishop's Castle and if you uh, have seen that video I've stopped at a campsite at Bishop's Castle which uh, was Foxholes camping and that was a beautiful site beautiful views but I wanted to try something different and actually in truth I only booked this about an hour and a half before I arrived um, I really just rang up to see if they had vacancies and uh, for me this is just a little bit of a transit uh, back home so uh, it's more than adequate it's nice nice area nice and quiet so anyway let me get changed we'll go to the pub and uh, I'll show you the uh, campsite shortly okay so this is the overflow campsite camp field and you can see my bike and tent up in the distance and it's relatively empty we're talking just into the second week of August so you shouldn't have any problem with the site here although weekends everywhere is a little bit busy so um, it's always worth booking or checking if it's a weekend and <clears throat> although it's an overflow camping field the actual camp site is just here through a gate just down there somewhere I can't see without glasses <laughs> so let's uh, have a little walk through the campsite it's only a small one but it's attached to a it's attached to a pub so you don't expect uh, much different yeah so just to orientate um, 
the road down in front of you is off the uh, main road where the pub is and this road which is private goes all the way down to the big house and I think some fishing lakes and areas to walk that's the overflow camping field through this gate and to be fair the grass in there is as good as many campsites and that's just an overflow and your actual campsite which is directly behind the pub you can more or less just see in the distance is through this little gate here so it's actually <laughs> it's only yards from the actual campsite and it's only a little campsite we have a Dalmatian doggy. I've got to say hello to the Dalmatian. Hello. So guys, this is Memphis and he's a puppy. How old? Nine months. <laughs> <laughs> he's nine month old and he knows his name. <laughs> Don't you Memphis? Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Look at this. He's a really ace little dog, aren't you? Look at this. I've got a friend. He was just barking at me when we went to the toilet before. But yes, you're lovely, aren't you? Yeah, you're lovely. Nine month old. Is he going to grow? I think he might fall out a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you'll really kill you. I think you should come home with me. <laughs> but you'd be about the hundredth dog that I've filmed that I would take home. Um, there's no chewing. Ah, 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 ah. No, no, no. No, we don't do that. Mm. No, don't do that, do we? No. Memphis. Don't. <laughs> now, I'm sure we'll see Memphis before I leave, won't we? I'm sure we will. Yes, we will. But we'll have to say goodbye now because a pint beckons. <laughs> Memphis thinks there's something in my bag. Oops. You think there's food in my bag, don't you? Yeah. Bye-bye, eh? yeah. Memphis. See you later. <laughs> beautiful, isn't he? Absolutely beautiful beautiful he wants to come with me but I don't think the owners will his mum and dad won't let won't let him go so what do you think of Memphis wasn't he lovely just a baby nine month old it's huge um, the camping site itself um, has a track going down the side it's the center I should say which you can see here and pitches either side and it looks to me like most well, not all, but a, there's a lot of power um, down here for uh, those that need uh, electric. And then towards the way I'm walking, there's a uh, few areas. No, in fact, no, I correct myself. It's all, uh, it's all power down here. So the main camping field uh, has power connection to it and the overflow doesn't. So I guess uh, they probably want tents to go in the overflow, which is perfectly acceptable. So we're almost back to the pub now. That's how close it is, the overflow car park. It's just a gate out of a gate, into a gate for the camping field. And then you've got the pub here. And it looks to me like we've got some toilet block and facilities going on. We'll have a quick look, but I do really want a pint. So it's only going to be a quick look. Yeah, so this is the uh, toilet shower block and there's also a little room there with a bit of information in and um, just generally maybe where you can charge. I don't know actually. I'll have a look later, but you might be able to charge phones in there. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the toilet block and it's uh, clean. Um, it's really good actually, yeah. But he is the pub. So guys, this is the uh, gents' uh, toilet shower block. 
and you got uh, a couple of showers and the showers are uh, free bear in mind that it's only seven pound um, per person and free showers you can't really go wrong with that and everything's clean basic but clean and that's all you want so guys this is a very impressive little site actually and just the other thing to uh, just quickly show you because there's nobody about this time of day um, is there's a little area which is a, a little room which is an information area you've got some places to well there's sockets to charge phones and charge stuff and um, effectively um, a dishwashing area so pretty useful but dishwashing area little area just to put stuff on plenty of sockets to charge and um, very basic but as good as any campsites or many campsites I've been on yeah it's a nice uh, nice place this and um, very quiet but I'm gonna uh, switch off now because obviously time of night and everything uh, people will be uh, wanting a bit of peace and quiet so for now I'm off yeah so the uh, pub uh, has reasonable sort of beer garden going on at the back To be honest guys, um, obviously this is for uh, people to sit, eat and drink, but I guess when it's quiet, you could get yourself in here if the weather's not so good, you know, to shelter and have your, uh, certainly your breakfast. And that's uh, from Pub Beer Garden onto the camping field. This is the main camping field. Relatively small, but it has uh, plenty of uh, hookup points. And despite the fact uh, on a previous uh, clip, I had said that this was all um, powered pitches it isn't um, at the bottom end where the small gate is at the very bottom down at the uh, hopefully you can see down there um, there's about six pitches there for uh, non-electric however if I not if when I come back here again I'm quite happy to go on to the uh, overspill field uh, in some respects I, I quite like it over there
Okay guys, so abundance of wildlife round here. Uh, we're in a rural area of Shropshire in the Rolling Hills, area of outstanding natural beauty. So what can we say about the uh, Powys Arms campsite? Well, it's attached to a pub and that's good. It's a country pub. Um, they seem to do a big sort of food menu, but Sunday night, which was last night, they weren't serving food because they did a big Sunday lunch. So they don't serve Sunday night and they're closed on a Monday. Nice pub, nice beer garden, good beer, seems to be good food. In a beautiful part of Shropshire, bang in the country. Great motorcycle riding in every direction that you go from this campsite. The camping site itself, as you've seen on the videos, is very small. But it's adequate, it's, it's nice, it's well kept, well maintained. And the toilet block is really decent. Basic, a bit dated, but that doesn't matter, it's clean, it's basic, it works. Everything there for you. There's a little room um, which is more like an information room, but it's got sockets in, so you, you'd be able to charge your phones and power banks and things like that there. The pub uh, has outdoor seating, which again you've seen in the video, so there is a bit of shelter there if you come here and it's quiet in the morning you could, and the weather's not so good, you could get yourself under there, I'm sure, to have a coffee. I'm camping on the overflow field and it is a field and it's it's not pristine grass that you might find like in the main campsite but I wouldn't expect that to be the case with an overflow. I can still hear the geese. It's beautiful, it's quiet, it's nice. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a small site. Um, they have an overflow field. I prefer the overflow field. And if I came here again and th th this was open, I'd want to stop on here. Not much else to say about the site other than the facilities are good. There's ample things to do here. Um, the pub is part of a big estate, which is in that direction behind me and there's fishing ponds there, lots of walks and I might have a little ride up there but I'm not going to have time to go walk around the area but um, it's just a nice bit of Shropshire. I like Shropshire and this is a nice little campsite and the big thing is this is only costing me £7 a night. Well, that's 2021 prices but seven pound a night is good in anybody's money for the facilities you've got full facilities i've seen on uh, facebook pop-up sites that haven't got the facilities that this has got charging 25 pound a night for goodness sake seven pound a night nice little campsite i like the overflow field adequate toilet block Perfectly adequate toilet block, nice rural pub. What more do you want? <laughs> I love it and I'm going to come back. I say that about all my visits, but I will go back to most of the sites that I've uh, been to. And I just find these little sites almost by accident. I only uh, rang the site an hour before I, well an hour and a half before I got here just to see if they had any vacancy but the field, this overflow field is empty. It's a, it was a Sunday night when I arrived so you find Friday, Saturdays everywhere is a bit busy but with this overflow I think you'd get on here without booking if you turned up. But guys, not much else to say but it's a beautiful location. Give it a try. Pub's good be as good but I'm gonna get my coffee drunk and move on now thanks for watching